Hello everyone, this is Val and in today's video we are going to go over four of the Loira Valley castles without having to rent a car. We're only going to do this in public transport, so let's get to it. The main reason I decided to make this video is because I can't drive for my life. Seriously, guys. I did want to come to the Loira Valley castles, but I was like, how can I do it without having to rent a car? Because for me, it's not possible. So I'm checking and I'm trying to do this in public transport or using other transport means like the application Blah Blah Car, where you can share a ride with someone for an affordable price which is a pretty good idea. So the best way of actually seeing the castles is if you choose one city as your main base. Check which city is close to the castles you're going to visit, city or cities, and then that can be your base point to go to the castles around the city. And then if you find that you want to go to other castles that are close to other city, then you should change your base as you go to the other castles. was an easy one. There is actually a direct train from Tours to the town where the castle is located so it's very easy just to buy the train ticket and you're here. That's the first one on the checklist. This one is one of the most famous castles here in the Loira Valley and it was founded in 1513. There is a reason why it's one of the most famous ones, it's beautiful. Today we're going to our second castle, the Vijandri castle. This one is actually a little tricky to get to. The only way we found we could get to the castle is taking a train to a train station called Savonius and then walking for an hour or doing something hitchhiking. You choose. A few moments later. So your admin brother did the easy one and I did hitchhiking. So it brought us to the castle in like 10 minutes, which is easier than walking an hour. So. Here we are. back today we're going to our third castle and actually we chose a different city as our main base because we're going to the Chambord castle and that is actually closer to Blois so we changed base we're right now in Blois getting to the Chambord castle is very easy there is a bus directly here from Blois to the castle so that's an easy one So that was pretty easy, we're here now to just take the bus in the bus station in front of the train station and that's it. So let's see the castle.
Today we're going to our fourth and last castle, the castle in Chaumont. Getting here is a little bit trickier, but it's pretty easy as well. You can take a train from Blois to a station called Onsain Chaumont. And then in there you will find a small shuttle bus that will take you directly to the castle. The bus is around 1 euro 15. So basically here we are, it's very easy. So that's our last castle, let's see it. So far the Chaumont Castle has been my favorite and it's very amazing, it's UNESCO's World Heritage so it's very taken care of and it's very big and it has maps and signs and everything so you can locate yourself, it's pretty amazing, it's really really worth the entrance and coming here and the gardens are just beautiful so it's really worth the try, uh, it used to belong to Catalina of Medici so that's a big deal and inside you have a lot of art galleries and history about the castle as well. And that's all for today's video, travelers. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my content. Thank you so much for watching and see you all on the next trip.